This is Sunil Tripathi. He went missing on March the 16th from his home in Providence, Rhode Island. A couple of weeks later, he was wrongly accused by internet detectives of being one of the Boston bombers. The body's now been discovered in the Providence River and the police believe it's very likely it could be Sunil's. But how did this innocent student end up at the centre of this high-profile manhunt? Sunil was missing before he was accused of being one of the Boston bombers. It's been reported he was suffering from depression and when he disappeared his family made this video to ask him to come home. One of the things I re remember that I would love to do again is lie with you on your pillow mountain. I hope you walk over and call up any minute. But then once the FBI released pictures of the suspected bombers, users in the Find Boston Bombers subreddit named Sunil as the man the authorities were looking for because they thought there was a resemblance between him and the wanted men. We did a story a week ago about the armchair detective scouring through stills and CCTV footage trying to help with the search for the culprits. The 4chan think tank showed how powerful the internet can be, but also how badly it can affect people when they're wrongly accused. It was this search for justice that led to accusations on Reddit that Sunil was responsible for a crime he didn't commit. After he was named on these sites and brought into the investigation, his family were hounded by the press. The Facebook page they created to help find him was forced to shut down due to the amount of abuse being posted and Twitter was awash with statements that Sunil was suspect number two. However, on Friday the 19th of April, investigators announced that Sunil wasn't the man they were looking for and by Monday, Reddit officially apologised for its role in fueling an online witch hunt. The creator of the Fine Boston Bombers subreddit has also issued a statement apologising for the mistakes made, the threads being closed down and the users deleted his account. But where does all this leave Sunil and his family? His sister Sangeeta has said it seems this is just the ugly underbelly of viral social media. A lot of stir can be created through just a complete accusatory and unsubstantiated effort. As yet, the body in the River Providence hasn't been officially identified and we don't know how long it was there before it was discovered, but the police say it's very, very probable that it is Sunil's. A post-mortem's taking place today, so hopefully that should provide his family with some answers. Thank you for watching. If you want to check out some of the other videos we've done on the Boston bombs, they're over here. And please, as ever, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There's an annotation up here somewhere.